Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. In today's video, we are going to talk about bad debts and the provision for doubtful debts. In this video, I will explain you what are the bad debts and why we are creating provision for doubtful debts. So, I will share with you the journal entries and a real life example so you can understand well. So, I will also show you the effects of provision for doubtful debts in our income statement and in the balance sheet. So, let's start with the definition like what are bad debts? As you know, when we are selling goods on credit to some customers and the customer is not going to pay us, so those debts called bad. So, those are bad debts. And when the companies are selling goods on some terms like 30 days or 60 days to some clients and they don't know that they will get the money from those customers or not. They are uncertain that they are going to receive that money or not. So companies are creating a provision for those bad debts. You know why they are creating a provision to see the true picture of the income statement and balance sheet of the receivables because none of the company are going to get 100% receivables. Companies are losing their money either by the, the client closed down, maybe bankrupt, maybe dissolved due to the some circumstances like recession, some companies close down. So you are not going to get the money. So to cope up this situation, companies creating the provision for doubtful debts. Now, let me share with you a real life examples with the journal entry so you will better understand the provision for doubtful debts. So let's move to our screen. Here we have bad debts provision real life scenario. In year 2017, total account receivables were 100,000 and company decided to make provision of 10%. So what journal entry we will pass? So for the 100,000, we will take the 10% of this 100,000 and will create an entry. Bad debts provision expense account to profit and loss after the operating income. We are recording these expenses. So, bad debts provision expense debit and provision for doubtful debts in balance sheet under the current assets like we are uh, dealing with the depreciation. This is the same account we need to create as an asset but as a credit balance with the minus figure. So the next in 2018 the total account receivable they found that they increased 150,000 and the company decided to make a provision of 10% again. The company is still thinking that the 10% they are not gonna receive from the clients. So general entry is 150,000 multiplied by 10% is equal to 15,000. So the total provision should be 15,000 till 2018. So in the last year we had 10,000 and we need to add more like 15,000 minus 10,000. So total provision value should be 15,000. You need to keep in mind this thing that total provision value should be 15,000. So the provision is going to increase so that means bad debts provision expense again debit with 5000 and provision for doubtful debts 5000. In the next year in 2019 we found that the total receivables were 90,000. Our receivables decreased. We have received much money from many clients and the company decided to make again a provision of 10%. Now the amount in provision ledger should be 9000 in 2019. As you know earlier that we had 15,000 in our provision, okay, in 2018, our balance. The closing balance was 15,000 and now in year 2019, we have 90,000 receivables and we are going to make 10% provision, so 9,000. We should have 9,000 in our ledger account. So when the account receivable decreased, then we need to make an entry like provision for doubtful debt balance sheet is debit. Like in 2018 total provision we have already 15,000 and we need to decrease, decrease the provision balance in provision ledger, bad debts provision ledger. So we need to make our provision 15,000 minus 9,000, so 6,000. So we will 
make an entry 6000 so provision for doubtful debt in balance sheet debit 6000 and bad debts provision income account profit and loss credit 6000 let's we will summarize these journal entries so you will understand better bad debts provision creation when we need to create a provision we are passing an entry bad debts provision expense debit and provision for doubtful debts balance sheet account credit this is our expense and this is our like same like accumulated depreciation like in minus but as an asset okay bad debts provision increased when our bad debts provision increased the same as this scenario in 2018 our account receivable increased with 150,000 so our provision also increased so here we need to create another entry same entry bad debts provision expense debit but the difference existing provision uh, the balance of ledger and a new provision we need to minus that provision and whatever the balance will come we need to make another entry to increase the provision so bad debts provision decrease this is another scenario when our account receivable decreased then our provision will also decrease as you have seen in 2019 our account receivable decreased to 90,000 and we need to make our provision 9,000 9, in our provision ledger so we need to pass an entry we need to reverse the entry provision for doubtful debt balance sheet debit you know here it is credit but now we need to make it debit and bad debts provision income account in profit and loss credit so it becomes our income now let's talk about the effects of provision for doubtful debts on income statement. So we will head over to this sheet. In year 2017, profit decreased by 10,000. In 2017, we made 10% provision for 100,000 account receivable. So this 10,000 we made as an expense. So our profit decreased due to that. In 2018, our uh, account receivable increased to 150,000. So our profit decreased by 5,000, 10,000 in 2017 and 5,000 further in 2018. In 2019, profit increased by 6,000. How? Our account receivable decreased to 90,000. So when we make the 10% of 90,000, it becomes 9,000. So 15,000 minus 9,000 becomes 6,000. So our profit increased by 6,000. So net effect on our income statement in these three years, 10,000 from 2017, 5,000 from 2018, minus 6,000 from 2019. So equal 9,000. So overall net profit decreased by 9,000. So this is the complete effect of above entries in three years in our bad debts provision and also in our profit and loss statement. So let's move ahead and we will see the balance sheet effect. Bad debts provision effect on balance sheet. In 2017, total receivables minus provision for doubtful debts is equal to net receivables. When we are going to uh, make a balance sheet, we our account receivables were 100,000. So we made a provision of 10%. So 10,000 minus is equal to 90,000 net receivable will be shown on balance sheet. In 2018, total receivables 150,000. Our provision increased like 15,000, 10% 10 of the 150,000 is equal to 135,000 will be our net receivable will be shown on our balance sheet. In 2019, our total receivable decreased to 90,000. So the 10% of the 90,000 90, will be 9,000 and it will become 81,000 net receivable which will be shown on the balance sheet at the e accounting period of 2019. So this is the concept of provision for doubtful debts. This is the way we can record our transactions. And guys, I hope you like my today's video. And if you feel any hesitation or in understanding, please do write in comments. So I will reply you as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel because your subscription keeps me motivated to create more videos for you. Thank you very much and good luck and goodbye.